video here from Akin Al Amin, whoever that is. Whoever it is, it isn't very brave, you know, because he uploads a video attacking men, but he, the, he things the comments, uh, comments are disabled, he disables the comments for the video. Still got the like to dislike ratio, 226 to 96, right? Um, in this video he talks about categories of men, right? Uh, it comes up with four categories. I've already watched it. I've watched it once, and uh, it's just it's, just, it's the same old, same old crap, right? So he, he talks about four categories. So I'm going to do this like live, well, quote live, right? Because I'm actually doing it live, but I can't up upload it live because I'm on a, a strike on YouTube for hate speech. So I'll I'll react live and then I'll upload it. Uh, I I know it's it's very lazy on my part. I just can't be bothered editing the whole thing, you know what I mean, I just, I can't be bothered man, honestly, I just, but I just want, but I do want to respond to it, so, uh, so here we go, right, uh, let's press K and get this started, here we go. In a relationship, all men falls into four categories, a boy, a player, a confused man, and a real man. Right, so right away, oh, Jesus, <laughs> only four categories, and this is a thing with, with men, but if it came to women, there's more than four categories. There's definitely traits that they all share, but there's only there's not only four categories. There's a lot more than that. But that's a different video entirely. Uh, a lot of things can be applied to pretty much all women, and I'll talk about them as we go through it. But the thing here that they've shown right, is a boy, a player, a confused man, and a real man. Right now, having already watched the video and known what he's going to say, I can tell you from. Uh, well, it's a fact because it's it's not like scientific. It's just simple observational skills, right? I can tell you for a fact that the vast majority of women would go for the player, right? When given free option, right? I'm talking about um, they all have free option in the West. They all have free option, but I'm talking about when they have free option and they actually could get all those men because they're maybe maybe they're attractive, right? they would choose the player almost every time they choose the player they would avoid the boy right the confused man and the real man the real man uh, but before i watched it and i seen this come up i knew right away right i thought to myself i bet the real man who he leaves to last i bet the real man is a man who 100 percent caters to women or rather caters to a women's magazine version of a woman, right? And spoiler alert, I was right. But let's go through it, right? <sighs> let's just go on. A boy. A boy will always be a boy regardless of his age. Yes, a, a boy will always be a boy regardless of his age. Um, now it shows you there, just quickly go back here, sorry. And a that. real man. Sorry, I went back 10 seconds, didn't know what a fucking idea. A boy. A right, boy will picture. always right, be a boy, regardless. Boom. Right, that's a picture there, right. 35 years old. Number 35 years old. Don't know, don't know why the hashtag's there. No idea why it's there, right. This guy can has got a clue about English, by the way. Uh, 35 years old, but thinks and acts like a boy. Um Akin, that's, that's your name, right? Um, boys can't drink, Akin. Um, I, I don't know where you got that impression from, but but here in the West, you know where we have, like, civilization, you know? Uh, boys can't drink. They're not allowed to do that. There's, like, laws in place. You know, I know where you come from. There's probably not that many laws. But here we have laws, and boys are not allowed to fucking drink, so... But th this is the message we have to get here, right? Um, that men, and that's another thing I'll just to quickly point out. If you're an adult male, you're a man, right? And n none of these rules matter. No matter how many times th these idiots say this stuff, you're a man, right? So anyway, so if a man goes out to drink with his friends, that's him acting like a boy. 35-year-old man goes out to drink with his friends. That's him acting like a boy. So... Let's keep the standards the same. That must mean a woman going out with her female friends when she's 35. That that must be immature then, right? Akin. Akin? No? 
No. Oh, 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 no, different rules for women. Oh, right, okay, I see. Uh, different rules for women, okay. Regardless okay. of his age, growing up and growing old is never the same. Growing old is mandatory. Sport. You see that in the background, that does show two young boys and a man. Um, uh, the shadow of a man, so I don't know what he's trying to depict here. But I think he's trying to say if you play sport and you're a man, that means you're acting like a child. So you'll notice the theme so far. If you're a man and you have fun, you're acting like a child. You know, I really don't care if you say I'm a child. I'd rather have fun, you know. And by the way, even though most women go for the player, a lot of women like men who like fun. Just, you know, just saying. Um, so, drinking with your friends, um, playing sport with your friends, you're a child. You're, you're, you're acting like a child. Oh, okay. Wait till you see how quickly this escalates, by the way. While growing up is optional by choice, a boy care less about what makes you happy as the woman. Yes, the, the, the boy right, cares less about what she thinks as a woman. Why, I can uh, just, I, I, don't, I don't think you're a sexist bastard or anything, but why did you show her thinking about clothes and shoes? Why, why did you not maybe show, I don't know, test tubes, some technology, some engineering? Uh, things up there. Why was it? Why was it a skirt, a handbag, and shoes? What do you think, women? Uh, I mean, what is your idea of a woman? Is this all they think about to you? I mean, I know that's all they think about. But are you also admitting that that's all they think about? I can, because I get called sexist when I say that, even though it's true. Uh, and he's thinking about a car, oh, obviously, because he's male. He must be thinking about a. Car. Car. I'm surprised the car doesn't have tits. He knows nothing about putting a home together and he is not ready to learn. Uh, uh, this putting a home together business. Uh, let me just skip back again this time. I won't do the 10 second thing like I just did. Fucking there you go. Um, he knows nothing about putting a home together and he's not willing to learn. Right. I don't know what he means by the deep. If, if he means building a home from scratch, well, that's asking a lot for any average man. I mean, come on, that's, there's not many men who know how to build an entire home from scratch, so you probably mean buying a home and setting it up and stuff. Um, I, wh why would you say men don't know how to do that? You see, they don't do it that by themselves, you know. You have to get, like, you have to get like lawyers involved and stuff like that, you know, surveyors and stuff in order to make sure everything's done right. You can't you can't just go, oh, all right, I'll buy that house, there you go, done. It doesn't work like that. So he can't do it himself, you know, and it's it's pretty basic and easy to learn if you really want to do it, you know. But well, the, the translation here is, a man is a boy if he doesn't buy the woman a fucking house. To learn. The woman will do the thinking and make decisions. <laughs> Jesus. The woman will do the thinking. What you mean about shoes and handbags? Is it that kind of thinking akin? Is that what you're talking about? Is it, the woman will do the thinking, you know, as if he'll just, uh, he won't take any participation, right, akin. Let, let, let's, go, let's go through the list, right? Right, you buy the house. That's fine. You can do that. You can buy the house, pay for the house, that's fine again. But if you've done that with a woman, with a wife, right, good luck getting the rooms decorated, because you're going to need it, you're not going to have a fucking say there. Good luck again on deciding how many kids you have, you won't have a fucking say in that either. Oh, and good luck deciding how many pets and what type of pets you'll have, you're not going to have a say in that either, so you're going to need it. So to, th this idea that that women are only making decisions because the man won't it is so absurd. It's like, is he, has he ever met a woman before? Uh, w women love to make decisions. They want the man to buy the house, but after that they're making all the decisions. What paint, what wallpaper, what carpet, what couch, everything. They're, 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 taking, they're taking charge. What, what the man, he, it's up, up to the man, is the fucking shed or the garage. Yeah, he can design that, whatever, I whatever. Get him away, you know. But the rest of the house is the woman's domain. She decides what it looks like. To, to, this idea 
this idea that women are only making decisions because the men they're with don't want to, it's, oh god, it's just, not only has he never met a woman before, and he's already insulted them by, the, by saying they only think about clothes and shoes, wait, wait, t- wait till you see how insulting he gets later, and it's brilliant because he's making this video in order to get women to like him, right? That's that's the whole point of the video. Please, women, like me, right? So he's put this video out attacking men in the hopes that women will like him and see him as the real man. Uh, but it, because he's so focused on attacking men, he doesn't notice when he's, atta- when he's really heavily insulting women. And a lot of women who watch uh, my videos, they're not the easily offended types, but there's a, a very specific part in this video, and I'll let you know when I'm at it. Even if you're not easily offended, if you're a woman and you you hear what this guy says, you absolutely should be offended at it. But you, you'll see what I mean when we get there. He will be more concerned about his mode of dressing than his character. So, so drinking with your friends, playing sport with your friends, being concerned about your appearance, the way you dress, and uh, being with a woman who makes decisions all make you a child if you're a man. <laughs> is is there anything that doesn't make us a child? Because all the things you pointed to so far, taking care of your appearance, playing sport, you know, going to the, the bar with your friends, they seem like fun. You know, you're, you're making out that this guy who's apparently a child, he's having the most fun so far. But <laughs> and and every, all the women as well, and all these scenarios with the men, the women are all the same. They're all identical. And uh, I noticed they were all white again. Hmm. Anything to say about that? No? Uh, no. Oh, no, it's alright, because you're attacking men, so you don't need to worry about the race angle. A boy is loose. He will kiss and tell, and talks about everything in his relationship to everybody, and openly condemn his woman. <laughs> this is just... It's... Oh, right. So a boy will kiss and tell, and he'll gossip with his friends, probably at the bar when he's being a child. Um, he'll gossip with his friends, and he'll talk about... I slept with her and she is not good in bed right now. This is this is an issue with women, right? One of the things, one of the traits they have, is they keep making this mistake of thinking that men are like women, and we're not like women. We, we're just you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. So he's listening to these women and he's thinking, aye, men, the boys, they talk, they gossip, and that, but. Are you seriously going to tell me that women don't band together with their friends and talk about who they've had sex with and what it was like? It's women you're mistaking these men for. Really, men don't do this. And if they do do it, I mean, it it's like five seconds at the most because other men aren't fucking interested. You know, they're just not interested. You, you just no clue about men at all. And... To... T- to think he's saying this about men when this totally applies to women. Women are the worst at this behaviour that you see on screen right now. Women are the worst at this. Or actually, is it the best? I'm not even sure. But you know what I mean. A boy will make his mum his next of kin even when he is married to a good wife with kids. <laughs> yes, but <laughs> see, they, they tried to play this angle like, uh, oh, he's a mama's boy, you know. Right? Here's, here's the thing, right? Next of kin is quite an important thing, right? So when a man has to write down his next of kin, well, I write my mum, who I know for a fact is going to be my mum, no matter what happens on this planet. She will always be my mum until the day she dies, and if she's a good mum, she will always want the best for me. Or do I put my wife, who might not be my wife tomorrow, she might not be my wife next week. She might run away and disappear. You see, do you see how he's making a common sense decision here? If you weigh it up and you think, well, where do I put my mum or do I put my, my wife? You know, it's probably better to put your mum because she's always going to be there. She's always going to be the same person. The wife might not be the same person in the, the next month or two. She might be somebody completely different. She might fuck off and divorce and divorce you, and then what? And then you've got to change everything. Oh, God, I've filled out all those forms right next to Ken now, and I need to change all that now. It, this is a common sense decision. Using common sense, it, it, it makes you childish. 
So going through the list again, having fun with your friends, playing sport with your friends, a few drinks, you know, uh, p not not buying a house for a woman, uh, letting her make the decisions, and making your mother next to kin. That makes you a child. All of these things make you a child. Oh, but it's but it's yet to escalate, right? <laughs> A boy never worries about the future because he never wants to grow. I say, well, what is this as well? Uh, I don't have any business with the future. Now, when you say he doesn't worry about the future, what he's really meaning here is he's not um, putting all his thoughts into what the woman wants him to think about, you know. He's just happy-go-lucky, you know, pretty relaxed about life, not concerning himself too much about the next few years or the next decade or whatever. And of course you could say, well, he should be, he should be thinking about his pension, but, you know, if he's happy, he's happy, you know, he's not doing any harm, is he? Fuck me, man. It's like you have to be this rigid, perfect example before you're not a child and you're a real man. It's so ridiculous. These fucking rules on men. I mean, seriously, just go, go and suck a dick, man. He knows nothing about responsibility or being responsible. So if if you go to the bar with your friends and you play sports and you meet your mother next to kin, you don't pay bills. And that's how it works. Because men, they don't know how to pay bills without a wife. God, so whenever you see men out drinking in pubs, you know right away, especially if you're with, with, the, with the friends, you know that uh, he doesn't pay his bills. What's he doing? Playing sport in the park? He doesn't pay his bills. What, what fucking utter nonsense! He will beat his woman, care less about her pains. <laughs> see what I mean about to escalate? Goes to the bar with his friends, you know, he's playing about football, brilliant. Smack, punches his wife in the face. What the fuck? What the fuck? Where the hell did this come from? Where the fuck did this come from? He didn't, he didn't do that because he was a boy. He didn't do that because he made his mother next to kin. He didn't do it because he goes to the pub with his friends. He didn't do it because he plays sport. He doesn't do it because he doesn't think about the future. He does that because he's a violent cunt and probably raised by a single mother. Make his woman's life miserable not because he's wicked but because he's a child. See, it's all about the women, by the way. You'll notice this. The, the, it's categories of men, but the whole point of this video is it's all about women. He will rather play video games or hang out with his homeboys. Ra whoa, 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 I'm sorry. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Right. Now, now we're on to video games. If you play video games, you're a wife beater. <laughs> right, okay, okay. Right, um, with the whole Gamergate thing, I think we've got that message anyway. We know if you play video games, you're a wife beater, and only men play video games. We get it, right? But what I don't get, right, I get that because I play video games, I'm a sexist, I hate women, I beat my wife, and all that. I, I understand, I get that, right? Yes, okay, I'll give you all that. But what I don't understand is why the fuck is he holding two joysticks? That doesn't make sense to me. Unless he's playing some fucking flight simulator, and even then you only need one. What the fuck is with the two joysticks? What's that? What, what game is he playing? God, I play games all the time and I don't even have a joystick. It's just a joypad. Oh, two fucking joysticks. The fucking, it was the 80s. Rather than staying at home. I mean, look at, look at the two pictures, right? He would rather play video games rather than stay at home. Well, first of all, he plays video games at home, right? What the f... That's the first thing. But, you look at those two pictures, right? One, he's playing video games with two joysticks. And then the other one, he's got a worried look in his face, he looks like he's going through some bills, looks like his wife's in a bad mood. Now you look at those two pictures, how can you not understand that a man would prefer to be in that left picture? How can you, how can you not understand that that's the one he wants to be, rather than this fucking poor sod over here who's like depressed and got his wife nagging in his fucking ear? Of course he's going to want to play games. He's happy doing that. Again, having fun makes you a child. Having fun makes you a child. What about women when they play video games? Because apparently they're 50% of gamers. <coughs> Candy Crush. Apparently they're 50% of gamers. So when, when they're playing video games, is that are they being children or... Oh, oh, oh no, they, different, different rules for women. Sorry, I keep, I keep forgetting. You cannot put a bike engine in a car and expect the performance of a car. Who's, who's, who said that you... Oh, God, never mind. When a matured woman marries or dates a boy, she automatically becomes a girl. See that? You see? So when a woman acts like a girl, 
It's a man's fault. Isn't that spectacular? All that time, 1 minute 26, we've got to this point. All that time he was talking about how boy, eh, men are boys because they do this and they do that. And not, at not once did he suggest that the reason the man's acting like a boy is because of the women in his life. No. But when a woman acts like a girl, that's because of the man in her life. Now, this is one of the situations where women should be offended. Because he's saying that you don't have any agency. Women don't have agency. And when you go out with a man, he can make you act like a child. Because you don't have any agency. You're not in control of what you do. I don't even think you can think for yourself, according to this guy. Oh no, sorry. You can not think for yourself, but only about shoes. She will change from a peaceful, matured woman to a nagging young girl. <laughs> she will change from a peaceful, mature woman to a nagging young girl. And it's the man's fault. So when a woman is a nagging young girl, <laughs> uh, she it's the man's fault. But we shouldn't think she's, you know, bad tempered or anything. No, because she used to be a peaceful, peace loving fucking working for NATO or whatever else. Christ. And people will think she's gone insane. I know they'll think she's the one gone insane when they don't realise it's the man's fault. They don't realise that every time a woman does something negative, it's a man's fault. I know they just don't get it. I, they don't get it akin. A boy gets easily intimidated by his woman's position, status, and feels insecure by her income. This this old chestnut. You know that this has never happened. The fact this happens as often as when a rape happens, people say boys will be boys. As in, it never happens, right? Um, it's the, the, again, the, the thinking that men are like women and we're not like women. They, they think that if a man's with a woman and she makes more than him, that they're going to feel somehow insecure and, you know, oh, I, I'm not happy about this. More money's coming into the house. Believe me, the men are happy. What's your CEO? Oh, you must be so intimidated. No, the, more, more money's coming into the gaff. I don't give a shit. You know, it's, it's this this idea that men are like women and we're fragile and weak and pathetic and if our, our partner has a good job and we don't, we're all of a sudden feeling... It doesn't work that way. M men don't think like that. Maybe you do, akin, but men in general don't think like that. This is a myth. If it, why would any man... Why would any man complain that there's more money coming into the house? Why? He will always fight and demand for respect because he thinks he is a man based on his age. Well, he is a man based on his age, actually. He says, I'm 35, and his reflection is saying, no, you are not. You know, I mean, I mean, I didn't know reflections could do that. But anyway, if he's 35 and he's male, he's a man, right? Oh, if he was born female, he's not. He's still female, but uh, he's a man. Male, 35, man. There's nothing you can do about it. No amount of rhetoric can change that. None. It's difficult to communicate with a boy since he is always right. <sighs> I'm right, you are not. Right? I, I mean, you, is he always right or is he, does he always think he's right? Or, I mean, who is this m mythical creature you're talking about? It, again, are you confusing him with the women? Because we know women are actually like that. You, you, you can't argue with women. Not because they think they're always right. Because they, they don't know how to argue. Fact. He feels superior and thinks he is doing a woman a favor by dating or marrying her. It, you say he feels superior. Now why would, the, why would it surprise you that he feels superior to the person who whenever they behave badly it's his fault? Why would he not feel superior to that person? Of course he's superior, because every time she misbehaves or does something wrong or does something negative, it's his fault. Of course he must be superior. You're the one that said it. Maybe he wouldn't feel superior if she took some fucking responsibility for her actions and had some fucking agency. Like he has. A player. Right, here we go, the player. This is the one that women most of the time would go for if they had free options totally free options to choose any of those men they wanted and all of those men wanted to be with her. Almost every woman would choose him. It's better to be single than date a player. Women don't think that. No matter how much effort you invest in a relationship with a player, it's most likely to end in vain. And that's, that's, one, that's one of the things that, that appeals to them. You see, 
nothing makes women happier than being unhappy, right? It, it's it's weird, but see if you see a woman that's happy, that means she's unhappy. And if you see a woman that's unhappy, that means she's happy. That's why they go for players. They love being unhappy. They fucking love it. They absolutely love it. They can't get enough of it. A player is smart, but wicked, selfish and inconsiderate and will never stay faithful to one woman. And that's why they attract women. Because women like that in men. Selfish and don't give a shit about her. They, they love it. And the fact that he's always attracted to another woman. That's just straight up honesty. Women like that too. Of course we're always going to be attracted to another woman. Just like women are always going to be attracted to another man. There's other people out there you know. So they just like the fact that he's straight up honest. And you know. And he's a bit selfish. And he needs a lot of work. Need, women like that you know they, they like it they don't want the perfect man the perfect man is fucking boring and dull they don't want that they want him because he's going to bring them nothing but fucking pain and heartache and it make them unhappy and that's what they like and he's not going to smack it around because he doesn't play video games though most women fall for players because they appear attractive and presentable oh god i wonder what they could see in that what do they see in them being pre attractive and presentable? Uh, fucking, of course. Oh, this just need explained. Players have something extraordinary about them. He can be rich, famous, tall, handsome. Oh, rich, famous, tall, handsome. Why would women like that? Uh, fucking spastic. Romantic, talented, good in bed, and possess many qualities that. I just, I just don't know what women see in this guy at all. I, I just can't figure it out. A woman wants in a guy. He will sweep you off your feet at the beginning and make you believe you're the luckiest woman alive. He will tell you what you love to hear and show you what you love to see. He will make unbelievable promises. He will get into your head through your heart and take control of your thinking. Right, did you see it ladies? Did you, did you see it and hear what, what was said there? Just for the cheap seats, I want you to listen to this again, okay? Tell you what you love to hear and show you what you love to right, see. Right, next bit. He will make unbelievable promises. He will get into your head through your heart and take control of your thinking. Do you hear that? He will get into your head through your heart and take control of your thinking. That, this Akin, uh, Akin who's making this video, that is how much respect he gives you women. That's how much respect he, he gives you. And now, I, I'm a proud misogynist and I give you more respect than that. That is absolutely fucking disgusting. That he, he's saying that he will get into your head and control your thinking. That's how much agency he gives you and how much respect he gives you. And I, I can't believe I'm saying it, but I give you more respect than that. Because I think you can think for yourself. And I don't think any man has the magical ability to control your thinking. But a kin does. A kin thinks that. But maybe that's why women do negative things. Because a player has taken control of their thoughts because they're Professor X. And then making them do things and say things they don't even want to do or say. Because they're controlling their thoughts. If you are not offended at this, ladies, ugh, there's something wrong with you, man. That That is one of the most offensive things I've ever heard said about women. And that's me saying this. He will spend any amount of money and efforts to get between your legs. God, I wonder what women see in this guy. He makes all the effort and spends all the money he can to get into her pants. What do they see in this guy? <sighs> and after accomplishing his mission, the story changes. It's because he's well sought after. Because women like men like that. Whether you like it or not, women like men like that. So he has a lot of women wanting to be with him. So he's got options. And don't act like if women had options, they don't do the same fucking thing. You know they do. Any attention and affection you get from a player is temporary. The first problem you will encounter with him is his words will start to contradict his actions. Then his behavior and timing will change drastically. Then you will start wondering what... What have I done wrong? I don't have time. Uh, what, 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 kind of, what kind of conversation is that? But you did wrong again. It's not you. It's him. But that's the case with all the men. It's never her. It's always him. Unless, of course, uh, he cures cancer. Then all of a sudden she wants in on it. You know, then she wants to be in the photo op. Then she wants her name tagged, tagged onto it. Oh, aye. But as soon as she does something fucking wrong, it's his fault. Fuck off. 
A player's time is very limited because he's got a lot of women to share it with. Because he's popular with women. Yes, you're making the case here. That's why women like him. Because that's another thing. When a man's popular with women, other women like him. No woman can... It's like the fashion trend. You know, you know when a fucking pair of shoes comes out, you know, they, and they, they become the fashion. It's like, I don't know, look at those pink shoes with a banana stuck on them. All the women are wearing them. Next thing you know, they're all fucking out there wearing them. It's the same thing. When women see a man's popular, they're thinking, oh... All other women are into this man, therefore I'll be into this man. It's just the way it works. ...can win a game with a player apart from the material woman who never dates or marries for love. See, you know, I have to say, the material woman's far more attractive than that other bint you've been drawing all this time. A player's heart has no space for love. He will only marry a potential victim for selfish reasons or benefits and continue his games after marriage. <laughs> see, see, it's like, finally... Well, finally he's doing something right. He, he's, you know, he's marrying her. You can never marry a player, but now that he is marrying her, oh, it's for selfish reasons, of course. I will marry her. She got a lot of money. What the f... I came you... I can, sorry, you fucking... Your English is atrocious, man. I will marry her. She got a lot of money. Was that that, was that, that guy at fucking Dirty Harry? That's saying that. Jesus, man. But now that he's finally popping the question, the player's finally popping the question, right? So he's a good guy now, right? Oh, no, it's for selfish reasons. He's being selfish. And he's and he's marrying the wrong kind of woman as well, did you notice? He's marrying the wrong kind. He's not marrying the frumpy bitch that you've been drawing all the way through this video. No, he's marrying the wrong kind. He should have married the other one. <laughs> it's almost like men can't do anything right. Unless they're exactly like you, Akin, a boring bastard. He will tell terrific stories about his innocent wife just to get another woman to bed. Right. My wife makes my life miserable. Oh no, poor you. You know, I, I mean, I, I've got to say 90% of the women I've ever chatted up, right? You know, when it, when it gets to the point where may, may, maybe something will happen, 90% slag their ex-boyfriend off or ex-husband and they always put them down and they always say some shit like you know he was never there or so, some crap like that they always make him out to be a bastard right some to the extreme you know he'd beat me up or whatever but they always attack their ex right always and it always leaves me thinking every time I always think hmm what if I go out with her and then we stop going out what's she gonna say about me am I gonna become like a rapist or axe murderer or something you know Avoid, you know, it just happens all the time. A confused man. No, oh, here we go, we're on the confused man now. <sighs> Can he make the women happy? We know the player did, even though he tried to make out that he didn't. We know that he did. But can the confused man make women happy? Well, Mr. Confused, let's see what you like. The problem with a confused man is he doesn't know what he wants. Duh, is that why he's called confused? A oh, fucking... Good lord. Relationship is like a door. You. <sighs> a relationship is like a door. Where is he going with this? A relationship is like a door. Sometimes it's open, sometimes it's closed. No, no. Is it, it's got a handle on it? No, 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 it can't be that. It swings? It be, oh, no, no, it won't be that either. It's like a door. Oh, I know. It's rectangle, that's what you mean, right? That's where you're going with this, right? A relationship is like a door. How, how's it like a door? You are either in or out. No, you stupid mong. That's the room. A, a relationship is like a room. You're either in or out. You're not in or out a fucking door, you stupid cunt. A, a confused man will put one leg in and one leg out. That means he's in both rooms. He's not at any point in the door. People will think you have a perfect relationship while you're actually not sure of where you stand. A confused... Who gives a shit what people think? Fuck them. This man can be a wonderful guy who doesn't play games. No, he can be a wonderful guy, but he's not though. He will love you, give you all you want. He even gives her a crown? He gives her a fucking crown and I bet he's still not good enough. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, the first guy, uh, the first guy, the, the, the child, he made sure she needed a new crown by knocking her fucking teeth out, but this guy's given her an actual crown. But he will never propose. Oh, he'll never propose? Oh, that means he's a bad guy then. You know? I mean, it, it, it doesn't mean that... I have to say, it doesn't sound very confused to me. 
he'll never propose, so he's, he's weighed up the pros and cons of marriage and he's thought, you know, this, this isn't for me. I'm going to opt out. I'm, I'm not going to bother with the proposing and stuff. That's not for me. That doesn't sound like a confused man to me. That sounds like a man who's made up his mind and knows that marriage is a mugs game. He will give you excuses all the time and put your life on hold, not... I need more time, please. Because he is bad, but because he has yet to figure out what he wants with his life. You, do, do, when you say he's yet to figure out what he wants, do you mean he's yet to figure out that he wants what she wants him to want? Now here we go. Uh, a confused man may have an unfinished business. He will be in a relationship and still be talking and hanging out with his ex. Not because he's bad, but because he is confused. Hey, hang on, wait a minute here. How does talking to your ex mean you're confused? It sounds to me like he might be a, a nice guy, a decent guy. And then when he, when he splits up from a woman, it's, there's no animosity. And it's actually friendly and, you know, still keeps in touch. Still on good terms. What the fuck is so wrong with, with talking to your ex? How does that... How does it mean confusion? I know a lot of people wouldn't like their boyfriend or girlfriend to hang out with their ex, but how does it mean confusion, you know? It, yeah, unless he's going, right, I'm going to her house, and then he ends up going to his ex-girlfriend's house. Oh, shit, I, I went to the wrong house. <laughs> Silly me, because I'm, I'm Mr. Confused. But that's not what you mean. How the fuck is it confusing to, to, to speak, hang, talk or hang out with your ex? How the hell is that? Again, it's a bad English. He doesn't know what confusion is. Of Hurry course, up. there is no rush in love, but there is a big difference between endurance and ignorance. Really? And that was me. That was me attacking your English there. Uh, there's a difference between ignorance and endurance. But God, I just, I, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. You can only endure with a man who knows what he wants and where he is going in life. Endurance with a confused man can be risky and a complete waste of time. <laughs> Well, that isn't that up to her though? Why did she go out with him in the first place if he's so fucking confused? When a woman makes up her mind and decides to leave, a confused man will change and start making new promises and deadlines just to make her wait more. You mean like a lot of people would do when they're with somebody who's threatening to leave? You know, I mean, they sh the right thing to do if you want to keep them is to not react and just, or just, you know, ah, okay, see you later. That, that, that will annoy them so much that they won't go. Uh, I can't date you forever, I'm done. Okay, fair dues, maybe, you know, maybe you want to have kids, whatever, who cares? Piss off. Uh, give me more time, baby. Sounds like a sap, to be honest. And, and again, it doesn't sound confused to me. After a while, he... And also, you don't need to be married to have kids. You know, just throw that out there, you know. Really, really sick of hearing people say that shit goes back to his old ways and for the woman the waiting continues when is he going to propose maybe never why do you just accept that he might never propose and marriage is not in your life you can still have kids though as long as you're together you don't need to be married but as long as you're together and raise the child together everything will be fine why are you so obsessed with marriage you crazy women oh no and do you know i know why she's thinking that because the player took control of her mind and made her think that it's all his fault Let's go back to him now. One of life's greatest mistakes is to embark on a life journey with someone who is not going anywhere in life. Oh, this is, you know, this is one of these, this is one of these Facebook images, you know, w w inspirational quotes, you know, and, and it's, it's got that crap. Uh, one of life's greatest mistakes is to embark on a life journey with someone who is not going anywhere in life. Gibberish, right? Fucking gibberish. But... Stick that quote there on a photo of, I don't know, a woman, you know, standing on a beach with the moon in the sky or whatever, uh, and just share it on Facebook, and guaranteed loads of women will share it and go, mm-hmm, so, tr so true, that's so true. Only women will do it, by the way. Um, another trait they have. Uh, and, and it's just complete gibberish. It doesn't mean anything. It's fucking stupid. It's a load of shit. And he's put his name to it as if, you know, I mean, if I came up with that, I wouldn't put my name on that. I'd be embarrassed. A real man. Oh, here we go. A real man akin. Uh, when you're talking about the uh, the real man akin, uh, I noticed he's white. Good start akin. What a great start that is. Let's see what Mr. White Guy... What's so right about Mr. Uh, white Guy, eh? Yeah? The real man. He's the real man, right? Here we go. 
A real man is the best gift any woman could get. Right, uh, so, for women, right away, first thing, for her, for her, right? He is a grown-up, matured man, regardless of his age. Subjective terms, what does that mean, grown-up, mature, what does that mean? Does that mean he doesn't play video games? He doesn't have fun with his friends at the pub? He doesn't play sports and he doesn't punch her fucking teeth out? What does that mean? That is done playing games. Done playing games. Ready to commit to just... Just one woman. Alright, so for her. And be faithful to her. For her. Right, okay, okay. I'm responsible for you? Ladies, are you offended yet? Are you offended yet? It's like he's talking to a fucking child. I'm responsible for you. What the fuck? No, you're not. You're responsible for yourself and only for yourself and your kids. Maybe your pets. But not a fucking grown fucking woman. Jesus. And I'm the one that would call a sexist. Oh. He will be responsible, trustworthy, love you and all that concerns you genuinely and for her, for her, for her, for her. You see what makes a real man is 100% catering to women. And prove his love to you. Again, for her. He will be sensitive to your needs and for her. And allergic to your tears. For her. Everything's for her. Can you tell us about him? What does he do in his spare time? Let us know what he's, what's he like as a man. Stop telling us what he does for her. What does he do for himself? What kind of... Does he have any hobbies? Tell us something. He will treat you like a queen. Oh, for fuck's sake, for her again? Is there anything that he does for himself? Anything at all? Does he control women's minds? Does he play games? Is he confused about his ex? And or, what, what is it about this man? that Does he have any character at all? Has he got a soul? For fuck's sake! Support you and bring out the best in you. This is the, this is like the the if if you were to put like truth serum into into all women right and say right write down the the man that you would never fucking go near it would be him. He will be consistent and his words will match his actions. Boring. See, women women would avoid this man like the fucking plague. Real men don't make promises. I will live with you all my life. You bitch, you don't know that. Is, they make commitments to her, for her, for her, to her, all the fucking time. Tell us about him. You will be his best friend. Uh, for her again. Next of kin, confidant, and you will never have to fight or beg for his attention. What? No fighting? No woman wants that. What woman wants to be in a relationship with a man where there's no fighting? Come on. He will laugh with you and cry with you. Fight nor beg for his attention. But who does that? And what the? Oh, pure gibberish. He will be more focused in your future than <laughs> see. He's all about her. And complain about your past. He'll be more focused on your future. Uh, yes, but uh, th th I mean, you could just imagine this woman. She's probably lying in that bed to get away from him, telling him, telling her how much he loves her and cares about her. Gonna, gonna go away and say, yeah, you told me that a minute ago. Go away. I know, but I love you and adore you, and you're my next of kin, and you're my best friend. Gonna. Piss off! I bought you a fucking Xbox, gonna go and play it? No, because all my time is for you and oh fuck that's it, you're getting a, getting a divorce. I'm out of here man, Jesus. That's why she's in that fucking bed to get away from that cunt. When there's conflict, he will never raise his voice or hands. What? He'll never raise his voice? What woman wants to be a man who never once has shows any sign of passion? I'm not talking about fucking smacking you in the jaw, I'm talking about when you get heated, you raise your voice. That's what happens. This is a passionless gimp. Is that what you want, women? Is that what you? Is this the guy you want? No, I know you don't. You don't need to answer because I know you don't want this guy. This, this is not the guy. This is a guy you maybe, kind of might sort of want when you're like, you know, 32, 35, and you're desperate to have kids and settle down. But when, you, when you're in your prime, you don't want this fucking loser. You want the fucking player. Admit it. He will peace. Oh, sorry, it was my fault. I understand you. Oh, God, I, the words every woman just wants to hear. She doesn't want to hear that. She wants to hear you scream at her and say you're a fucking stupid whore, and so's your fucking mother. Now, don't fucking mouth off to me like that again, or I will fucking give you the back of my hand. That's what she wants to hear, not a shite. Fully make you understand his point. He will carry you along with his plans. Oh. If you disagree with him, he... We will build our future together. Oh, she's just thinking, gonna just give me a good scene to... He will never take offense. 
He will tr He'll never take offense. Trust without doubt and will give without expectations. Trust without doubt. What can uh, Jesus is this is, is is this is this the robotic version of a man that, that a woman that a woman invented? A woman that's never been with a man but has read Cosmopolitan quite a few times. Is that what is this, is this what this guy is? What a joke. There's no fucking way women like this. No way. Although he Man, could you imagine him putting his foot down? Could you imagine him putting his foot down? Imagine he wanted to watch a game of football. Oh no, because that's sport. And that would mean he was a child. But alright, imagine he wanted to watch a soap opera. And she didn't want to watch it. Could you imagine him going, no, I'm, I'm, I'm putting fucking Coronation Street on. That's what's going on. That's what I'm watching. You can watch something else later. Could you, he would never do it. He'd never put his foot down. Okay, dear, you watch what you want. I'll miss Coronation Street even though I've been looking forward to it all day. You put what you want on. That's him, faggot. He may not have a lot. But he will be happy to share the little he has. Uh, an apple, really? He's, he's going to share that apple. Oh. Is, isn't he? He's going to share that. Isn't he going to give you it? Just take the fucking apple, you know? But, I mean, she would have more respect for him if he said, This is my fucking apple. Go get your fucking own. I think this is. You know, she would have more respect for him. But no. Here you go. Here you go, honey. You have my apple. Oh, God. I, the, the respect for him is fucking oozing out her pores. Most women think real men are difficult to find. Oh, Jesus. All adult males are real men. You stupid cows. So stop thinking that. Can you make women out to be any dafter? Oh, yes. He can. Listen to this. The truth is there are millions of real men out there. Some women go to the rainy forest expecting to catch a fish, forgetting fishes don't live in the forest. Mm. Women go to the forest to catch fish, forgetting that fish aren't in the forest. I don't know if this is some wise old metaphor, whatever this fucking cunt's from, but here it's gibberish and it makes women look, look and sound fucking stupid. You know, oh, I went to the forest, what for? I get some fish. You're a stupid cunt. That's what you are. You went to the forest for some fish. Go away. But it was raining. Go away. You cannot date or marry a player or a boy and expect the treatment of a real man. But you'll have fun, though. If you go with a boy or a player, you'll have fun. I mean, he won't tell you he loves you every two minutes and be your best friend and make you your next of kin. But you'll have fun. Akin Alameen. For more videos, join us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. I don't think so, I can. You're a fucking idiot. You, you, you're doing this to, to, in the hopes that women will like you. And the, the comments are disabled, by the way. Are you shocked? I'm not shocked. Comments are fucking disabled. Um, but I, I was when I, I first seen it, I was expecting some, especially because it's got more likes than dislikes. I was expecting the comments, you know, to be that that women shit. Oh, at last a real man telling the truth. Oh, that's ex so true, so true. And yet in real life, they would never go with a man like that. He fucking do my head in these people. I swear to God, man, pure pure fucking lies. That's what does he's just been lying all this time. God, I mean, I'd love to know how many women fall for this and. You know, oh, I need to get in touch with this guy. He know he knows women so well. He doesn't fucking know women so well. Not a not a chance. I don't claim to be an expert, but I know more than this cunt, and he does not know women at all. My God. Apparently they're idiots anyway. You know, they just think about shoes and they think they can get fish in the forest. My God. <sighs> anyway, I'm still a misogynist, but I give women far more respect than than this twat. Far more, and that's saying something. Anyway, thank you very much for listening. Until next time. Hi, uh, I've got a video here from Akin Al Amin, whoever that is. Whoever it is, it isn't very brave, you know, because he uploads a video attacking men, but he, he, he things the comments, uh, comments are disabled, he disables the comments for the video. Still got the like to dislike ratio, 226 to 96, right? Um, in this video he talks about categories of men, right? Uh, he comes up with four categories. I've already watched it. I've watched it once, and uh, it's just it's just, it's the same old, same old crap, right? So he, he talks about four categories. So I'm going to do this like live, well, 
quote live, right? Because I'm actually doing it live, but I can't up upload it live because I'm on a, a strike on YouTube for hate speech. So I'll, I'll react live and then I'll upload it. Uh, I, I know it's it's very lazy on my part. I just can't be bothered editing the whole thing. You know, what I, mean? I just I can't be bothered, man. Honestly, I just but I just want to, but I do want to respond to it. So. Uh, so here we go, right? Uh, let's press K and get this started. Here we go. In a relationship, all men falls into four categories. A boy, a player, a confused man, and a real man. Right, so right away... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Only four categories, and this is a thing with, with men. But if it came to women, there's more than four categories. There's definitely traits that they all share. But there's only there's not only four categories. There's a lot more than that. But that's a different video entirely. Uh, a lot of things can be applied to pretty much all women, and I'll talk about them as we go through it. But the thing here that they've shown right, is a boy, a player, a confused man, and a real man. Right now, having already watched the video and known what he's going to say, I can tell you from uh, well, it's a fact because it's it's not like scientific. It's just simple observational skills, right? I can tell you for a fact that the vast majority of women would go for the player, right? When given free option, right? I'm talking about, um, they all have free option in the West. They all have free option, but I'm talking about when they have free option and they actually could get all those men because they're maybe, maybe they're attractive, right? They would choose the player. Almost every time they choose the player, they would avoid the boy, right? The confused man and the real man, the real man. Uh, but before I watched it and I seen this come up, I knew right away, right? I thought to myself, I bet the real man who leaves to last, I bet the real man is a man who 100% caters to women or rather caters to a women's magazine version of a woman, right? And spoiler alert, I was right. But let's go through it, right? <sighs> let's just go on. A boy. A boy will always be a boy regardless of his age. Yes, a, a boy will always be a boy regardless of his age. Um, now it shows you there, just quickly go back here. Sorry and a real that. man. Sorry, I went back 10 seconds, didn't I? What a fucking idea. A boy. A right, boy will picture. always right, be a boy, go. regardless. Boom. Right, that's a picture there, right? 35 years old. Number 35 years old. Don't know don't know why the hashtag's there. No idea why it's there, right? This guy can has got a clue about English, by the way. Uh, 35 years old, but thinks and acts like a boy. Um, a kin. That's, that's your name, right? Um, boys can't drink, I can. Um, I, I don't know where you got that impression from, but but here in the West, you know where we have like civilization, you know, uh, boys can't drink. They're not allowed to do that. There's like laws in place. You know, I know where you come from. There's probably not that many laws, but here we have laws, and boys are not allowed to fucking drink. So, but th this is the message we have to get here, right? Um, that men. And that's another thing, I'll just to quickly point out. If you're an adult male, you're a man. One, he's got a worried look in his face. He looks like he's going through some bills. Looks like his wife's in a bad mood. Now you look at those two pictures. How can you not understand that a man would prefer to be in that left picture? How can you? How can you not understand that that's the one he wants to be, rather than this fucking poor sod over here who's like depressed and got his wife nagging in his fucking ear. Of course he's going to want to play games. He's happy doing that. Again, having fun makes you a child. Having fun makes you a child. What about women when they play video games? Because apparently they're 50% of gamers. <coughs> Candy Crush. Apparently they're 50% of gamers. So when, when they're playing video games, is that are they being children or... Oh, oh, oh no, the, the, different, different rules for women. Sorry, I keep, I keep forgetting. You cannot put a bike engine in a car and expect the performance of a car. Who's, who's, who said that you... Oh, God, never mind. When a matured woman marries or dates a boy, she automatically becomes a girl. See that? You see? So when a woman acts like a girl, it's a man's fault. 
isn't that spectacular? All that time, 1 minute 26, we've got to this point. All that time he was talking about how boy, eh, men are boys because they do this and they do that. And not, at not once did he suggest that the reason the man's acting like a boy is because of the women in his life. No, but when a woman acts like a girl, that's because of the man in her life. Now, this is one of the situations where women should be offended. Because he's saying that you don't have any agency. Women don't have agency. And when you go out with a man, he can make you act like a child. Because you don't have any agency. You're not in control of what you do. I don't even think you can think for yourself, according to this guy. Oh no, sorry. You can think for yourself, but only about shoes. She will change from a peaceful, matured woman to a nagging young girl. <laughs> she will change from a peaceful, mature woman to a nagging young girl. And it's the man's fault. So when a woman is a nagging young girl, <laughs> uh, she it's the man's fault. But we shouldn't think she's, you know, bad-tempered or anything. No, because she used to be a peaceful, peace-loving, fucking working for NATO or whatever else. Christ. And people will think she's gone insane. I know they'll think she's the one gone insane when they don't realise it's the man's fault. They don't realise that every time a woman does something negative, it's a man's fault. I know they just don't get it. I, they don't get it akin. A boy gets easily intimidated by his woman's position, status, and feels insecure by her income. This this old chestnut. You know that this has never happened. The fact this happens as often as when a rape happens, people say boys will be boys. As in, it never happens, right? Um, it's, the, the, again, the, the thinking that men are like women and we're not like women. They, they think if a man's with a woman and she makes more than him, that they're going to feel somehow insecure and, you know, oh, I, I'm not happy about this. More money's coming into the house. Believe me, the men are happy. <gasps> What's your CEO? Oh, you must be so intimidated. No, the, more, more money's coming into the gaff. I don't give a shit. You know, it's, it's this this idea that men are like women and are fragile and weak and pathetic and if our, our partner has a good job and we don't, we're all of a sudden feeling... It doesn't work that way. M men don't think like that. Maybe you do, akin, but men in general don't think like that. This is a myth. If it, why would any man... Why would any man complain that there's more money coming into the house? Why? He will always fight and demand for respect because he thinks he is a man based on his age. Well, he is a man based on his age, actually. He says, I, I, I'm 35, and his reflection is saying, no, you are not. You know, I mean, I mean, I didn't know reflections could do that. But anyway, if he's 35 and he's male, he's a man, right? Oh, uh, if he was born female, he's not. He's still female, but uh, he's a man. Male, 35, man. There's nothing you can do about it. No amount of rhetoric can change that. None. It's difficult to communicate with a boy since he is always right. <sighs> I'm right, you are not. Right? I, I mean, you, is he always right or is he, does he always... So to, th this idea that, that women are only making decisions because the man won't, it is so absurd. It's like, is he, has he ever met a woman before? Um, w women love to make decisions. They want the man to buy the house, but after that, they're making all the decisions. What paint? What wallpaper? What carpet? What couch? What everything. They're 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 taking they're taking charge. What, what the man? He, it's up up to the man. Is the fucking shed or the garage? Yeah, he can design that. Whatever, I whatever. Get him away, you know. But the rest of the house is the woman's domain. She decides what it looks like. T th this idea. This idea that women are only making decisions because the men they're with don't want to, it's, oh god, it's just, not only has he never met a woman before, and he's already insulted them by, the, by saying they only think about clothes and shoes, wait, wait, t wait till you see how insulting he gets later, and it's brilliant because he's making this video in order to get women to like him, right, that's, that's the whole point of the video, please women like me, right, so he's put this video out attacking men in the hopes that women will like him and see him as the real man, uh, but it, because he's so focused on attacking men, he doesn't notice when he's, when he's really heavily insulting women, and a lot of women who watch uh, my videos, they're not the easily offended types, but there's a, a very specific part in this video, and I'll let you know when I'm at it, 
it, even if you're not easily offended, if you're a woman and you, you hear what this guy says, you absolutely should be offended at it. But you, you'll see what I mean when we get there. He will be more concerned about his mode of dressing than his character. So, so drinking with your friends, playing sport with your friends, being concerned about your appearance, the way you dress, and uh, being with a woman who makes decisions all make you a child if you're a man. <laughs> is, is there anything that doesn't make us a child? Because all the things you pointed to so far, taking care of your appearance, playing sport, you know, going to the, the bar with your friends, they seem like fun. You know, you're, you're making out that this guy who's apparently a child, he's having the most fun so far. But <laughs> and and every, all the women as well, and all these scenarios with the men, the women are all the same, they're all identical. And uh, I noticed they were all white again. Hmm. Anything to say about that? No? Uh, no. Oh, no, it's alright, because you're attacking men, so you don't need to worry about the race angle. A boy is loose. He will kiss and tell, and talks about everything in his relationship to everybody, and openly condemn his woman. <laughs> this is just... It's... Oh, right. So, a boy will kiss and tell, and he'll gossip with his friends, probably at the bar when he's being a child. Um, he'll gossip with his friends, and he'll talk about... I slept with her and she is not good in bed right now. This is this is an issue with women, right? One of the things, one of the traits they have, is they keep making this mistake of thinking that men are like women, and we're not like women. We, we're just you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. So he's listening to these women and he's thinking, aye, men, the boys, they talk, they gossip, and that, but. Are you seriously going to tell me that women don't band together with their friends and talk about who they've had sex with and what it was like? It's women you're mistaking these men for. Really, men don't do this. And if they do do it, I mean, it, it's like five seconds at the most because other men aren't fucking interested. You know, they're just not interested. You, you just no clue about men at all. And... To, to, to think he's saying this about men when this totally applies to women. Women are the worst at this behaviour that you see on screen right now. Women are the worst at this. Or actually, is it the best? I'm not even sure. But you know what I mean. A boy will make his mum his next of kin even when he is married to a good wife with kids. <laughs> yes, but <laughs> see, they, they tried to play this angle like, uh, oh, he's a mama's boy, you know. Right? Here's, here's the thing, right? Next of kin is quite an important thing, right? So when a man has to write down his next of kin, well, I write my mum, who I know for a fact is going to be my mum, no matter what happens on this planet, she will always be my mum, right? And none of these rules matter, no matter how many times th these idiots say this stuff, you're a man, right? So anyway, so if a man goes out to drink with his friends, that's him acting like a boy. 35 year old man goes out to drink with his friends that's him acting like a boy so let's keep the standards the same that must mean a woman going out with her female friends when she's 35 that that must be immature then right i can i can no no oh, oh, oh no different rules for women all oh, right okay i see uh, different rules for women okay regardless okay. of his age growing up and growing old is never the same growing old is mandatory what Sport. You see that in the background there, it does show two young boys and a man. Um, uh, the shadow of a man, so I don't know what he's trying to depict here. But I think he's trying to say if you play sport and you're a man, that means you're acting like a child. So you'll notice the theme so far. If you're a man and you have fun, you're acting like a child. You know, I really don't care if you say I'm a child. I'd rather have fun, you know. And by the way, even though most women go for the player, a lot of women like men who like fun, just, you know, just saying. Um, so, drinking with your friends, um, playing sport with your friends, you're a child, you're, you're, you're acting like a child. Oh, okay, wait till you see how quickly this escalates, by the way. While growing up is optional by choice, a boy care less about what makes you happy as the woman. Yes, the, the, the boy right, cares less about what she thinks as a woman. Why I can uh, just I, I don't I don't think you're a sexist bastard or anything, but why did you show her thinking about clothes and shoes? 
But why why did you not maybe show I don't know test tubes, some technology, some engineering things up there? Why was it why was it a skirt, a handbag, and shoes? What do you think women? I mean, what is your idea of a woman? Is this all they think about to you? I mean. I know that's all they think about, but are you also admitting that that's all they think about a kin? Because I get called sexist when I say that, even though it's true. Uh, and he's thinking about a car, oh, obviously, because he, he's male. He must be thinking about a car. I'm surprised the car doesn't have tits. He knows nothing about putting a home together, and he is not ready to learn. Uh, uh, this putting a home together business... Uh, let me just skip back again. This time I won't do the 10 second thing like I just did fucking there you go. Um He knows nothing about putting a home together and he's not willing to learn, right? I don't know what he means by the de if if he means building a home from scratch, well, that's asking a lot for any average man. I mean come on, that, that's there's not many men who know how to build an entire home from scratch, so you probably mean buying a home and setting it up and stuff. Um, I, wh why would you say men don't know how to do that? See, they don't do it that by themselves. You know, you have to get like, you have to get like lawyers involved and stuff like that. You know, surveyors and stuff in order to make sure everything's done right. You can't, you can't just go, oh, right, I'll buy that house. There you go, done. It doesn't work like that. So he can't do it himself. You know, and it's, it's pretty basic and easy to learn if you really want to do it. You know, but well, the the translation here is. A man is a boy if he doesn't buy the woman a fucking house. To learn, the woman will do the thinking and make decisions. <laughs> Jesus. The woman will do the thinking. What you mean about shoes and handbags? Is it that kind of thinking again? Is that what you're talking about? Is it, the woman will do the thinking, you know, as if he'll just, uh, he won't take any participation, right, again. Let, let, let's go. Let's go through the list, right? Right. You buy the house. That's fine. You can do that. You can buy the house. Pay for the house. That's fine, again. But if you've done that with a woman, with a wife, right? Good luck getting the rooms decorated, because you're going to need it. You're not going to have a fucking say there. Good luck, again, on deciding how many kids you have. You won't have a fucking say in that either. Oh, and good luck deciding how many pets and what type of pets you'll have. You're not going to have a say in that either. So you're going to need it um, until the day she dies. And if she's a good mum, she will always want the best for me. Or do I put my wife, who might not be my wife tomorrow. She might not be my wife next week. She might run away and disappear. You see, do you see how... He's making a common sense decision here. If you weigh it up and you think, well, who do I put my mum or do I put my, my wife? You know, it's probably better to put your mum because she's always going to be there. She's always going to be the same person. The wife might not be the same person in the next month or two. She might be somebody completely different. She might fuck off and divorce and divorce you. And then what? Then you've got to change everything. Oh, God, I've filled out all those forms right next to kin now. I need to change all that now. It, this is a common sense decision. Using common sense, it, it, it makes you childish. So going through the list again, having fun with your friends, playing sport with your friends, a few drinks, you know, uh, p not not buying a house for a woman, uh, letting her make the decisions, and making your mother next to kin. That makes you a child. All of these things make you a child. Oh, but it's but it's yet to escalate, right? <laughs> A boy never worries about the future because he never wants to grow. I say, well, what is this as well? Uh, I don't have any business with the future. Now, when you say he doesn't worry about the future, what he's really meaning here is he's not um, putting all his thoughts into what the woman wants him to think about, you know. He's just happy-go-lucky, you know, pretty relaxed about life, not concerning himself too much about the next few years or the next decade or whatever. And of course you could say, well, he should be, he should be thinking about his pension, but, you know, if he's happy, he's happy, you know, he's not doing any harm, is he? Fuck me, man. It's like you have to be this rigid, perfect example before you're not a child and you're a real man. It's so ridiculous. These fucking rules on men. I mean, seriously, just 
go and suck a dick, man. He knows nothing about responsibility or being responsible. So, so if if you go to the bar with your friends and you play sports and you meet your mother next to kin, you don't pay bills. And that's how it works. Because men, they don't know how to pay bills without a wife. God, so whenever you see men out drinking in pubs, you know right away, especially if with the, with, the, with the friends, you know that uh, he doesn't pay his bills. Mm, what's he doing? Playing sport in the park? He doesn't pay his bills. What, what fucking utter nonsense! He will beat his woman, care less about her pains. <laughs> see what I mean about to escalating? Goes to the bar with his friends, you know, he's playing about a football, brilliant. Smack, punches his wife in the face. What the fuck? What the fuck? Where the hell did this come from? Where the fuck did this come from? He didn't, he didn't do that because he was a boy. He didn't do that because he made his mother next to kin. He didn't do it because he goes to the pub with his friends. He didn't do it because he plays sport. He doesn't do it because he doesn't think about the future. He does that because he's a violent cunt and probably raised by a single mother. Make his woman's life miserable not because he's wicked but because he's a child. See, it's all about the women, by the way. You'll notice this. The, the, it's categories of men, but the whole point of this video is... It's all about women. He will rather play video games or hang out with his homeboys. Whoa, 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 I'm sorry. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Right. Now, now we're on to video games. If you play video games, you're a wife beater. <laughs> right, okay, okay. Right, um, with the whole Gamergate thing, I think we've got that message anyway. We know if you play video games, you're a wife beater, and only men play video games. We get it, right? But what I don't get, right, I get that because I play video games, I'm a sexist, I hate women, I beat my wife and all that. I understand, I get that, right? Yes, okay, I'll give you all that. But what I don't understand is why the fuck is he holding two joysticks? That doesn't make sense to me. Unless he's playing some fucking flight simulator, and even then you only need one. What the fuck is with the two joysticks? What's that? What, what game is he playing? God, I play games all the time and I don't even have a joystick. It's just a joypad. Oh, two fucking joysticks. The fucking, it was the 80s. Rather than staying at home. Oh, I mean, look at, look at the two pictures, right? He would rather play video games rather than stay at home. Well, first of all, he plays video games at home, right? What the f... That's the first thing. But you look at those two pictures, right? One, he's playing video games with two joysticks. And then the other,